forgot that he bro forgot that bro forgot flame on what's good i am d goods on youtube tg so good everywhere else we're back blue jay brand is real draft countdown this is the 2020 draft for NBA 2K. Let's jump into this list of prospects and Blue Jay Brandon's analysis. At number 27, Jamias Ramsey, an uber athletic two guard out of Texas Tech is how he's been described, very raw. Has the ability to showcase amazing highlight plays out of nowhere and has a surprisingly solid jumper that developed throughout the year. All right, he has some athletic potential. He says he thinks he could be a nice late first round pickup, kind of similar to how Cleveland got Kevin Porter Jr. What are my thoughts on this guy? I watched him play. He could be amazing. Somebody made a comparison to J.R. Smith. J.R. Smith was very um, streaky when he was younger. He was streaky throughout his career, but he did have those highlight plays that jumped out at you. He could be something similar to that. We have him rated at a 69 overall. Let's move forward. Number 26, big man out of Maryland, Jalen Smith. Looks like Blue Jay Brandon is higher than others on him. He feels he fits the modern game so well. He returned to college last year and further developed his game. He describes him as a natural rebounder and shot blocker with stretch potential. He can see him sticking around the league for a long time, similar to a less athletic Serge Ibaka. Hmm, I watched this guy seen some potential i think he has he has just enough game to be out there i think he fits the modern nba he can go outside the three-point line well at least in college he could he can go out there knock down some couple shots keep the defense honest he is a 69 overall for this draft class i would definitely take him if i got a pick depending on where i am let's move on i'm gonna get this name so wrong but i'm gonna try it alexich Pokosevsky? I'm guessing, I'm guessing. I probably got it wrong. True seven footer from Serbia playing with Olympiakos. Blue Jay Brandon says he's a perfect encapsulation of the 2020 draft. No one really knows exactly how good he could be. He could be anything from a starting center capable of selling on both ends, including stretch potential, to an end of the bench and out of the league type of guy. Okay, that's, that's a lot of room for error. That is a lot of room for error. Looks like this is a boom or bust type of pick. He's rated 69 overall for this draft class. Here are his stats. 10.8 points, 7.9 rebounds, 3.1 assists for his current team. A more familiar face to a lot of you. Big man out of Duke, Vernon Carey Jr. Traditional big out of Duke, despite having dropped in the mocks, he's one of the more recognizable names in the draft. His father was an NFL player, so he should have a leg up in navigating the world of professional sports. He's a good rebounder, surprisingly decent athlete given his larger frame. His main issue comes that he is the last of a dying breed. Getting the ball within five feet of the basket, he'll bully it in, but he has very little stretchability. He's very much in the mode of Al Jefferson, Zach Randolph type. He'll punish you low in the post. On the defensive end, he's adequate, but no standout. Due to his size, he'll set good screens. Just overall, physically draining on his matchup. But with the NBA focusing so much on passing and shooting skill, he may find a hard time carving out a role. He's rated 69 overall in this draft class. And I too think he's going to have a hard time finding a consistent role for itself in a league that's pushing towards, well, constantly pushing towards, getting up and down, passing the ball around, knocking down shots from distance. His game doesn't really seem to fit that mold, but he can get it in in spots, so maybe he can carve out a career for himself. Let's get ready to move forward. Number 23, Isaiah Stewart out of Washington. He's only 6'9", but he's listed at a whopping 250 pounds. He's a big guy. He's built like a tank, has the ability to see you in the next week with the screens. The problem is, outside of rebounding and finishing inside, he doesn't bring a lot to the table. He's always been one of the top prospects in the class, mainly due to his physique, but he didn't really produce at Washington to warrant all the hype. 
Maybe once he gets in the league, he can develop a more contemporary game. He certainly won't need to focus on bulking up. You know he can be a controversial prospect due to his rise and fall. Do you all think he's too high, too low? There's his stats on the screen. He's rated 69 overall for this draft class. I took a look at some of his footage. This guy does seem very strong, especially being so young. Maybe, maybe, just maybe he can't carve out a role. In fact, I think maybe he might get a chance before Vernon Carey. He might get a better chance than Vernon Carey. Hmm, because he won't be expected to score. All right, well, we'll see, we'll see. I'm no professional analysis or analyst, I'm sorry. Anyway, let's move on. Last prospect, Sadiq Bey, 6'8 forward out of Villanova. He's seen his draft stack, uh, his draft stock, I'm sorry. Definitely rise, definitely rise. He went from top 100 prospect to a likely lottery pick. He's one of the better 3 and D wings in the draft with the emphasis on the three stretches of floor, being a lights out shooter, super crafty with the ball, uh, with his off ball movement to get behind screens and get a shot off. He doesn't rank as highly just due to his advanced age. I think what you've seen in college is what you're going to get in the NBA. He probably, he probably, what is that? He's probably a high floor, low ceiling type of player, but the right situation could change that. All right, so he's a sophomore. He's rated 70 overall. All right, so here's some information that Blue Jay Brandon gives us. He wants to let us know that going forward, the the rankings are in no no particular orders in terms of overall rating so he's not saying 170 overall is better than another one it's just going to be how it lines up so when we get to going forward and i give you these numbers on the countdown we're just counting down revealing prospects all right so this has been me the goods on youtube and i am presenting blue jay brandon's real 2020 draft class for the PC, you guys don't miss out on the playlist if you miss some prospects. Gonna have more as he reveals them. You guys stay tuned.